Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we will see a few examples for block diagram reduction based on the block transformation that we have seen in the last video. We will see the first example. Here we have several feedback. As I mentioned earlier, feedback loops are very important in control systems. So we will see one example based on how to reduce this block with several subsystems G1, G2, G3, H1, H2, H3 to a single transfer function which relates RFS and CFS. We will begin with the loop G2, G3, H1. So this is a simple negative feedback loop. We will reduce that to a single transfer function. So that loop is reduced as so in the last video we have seen for a negative feedback we will have uh, a transfer function as g of s by one plus g of s h of s where g of s is in the for forward loop and h of s is the feedback transfer function now this we will apply here to get uh, g2 g3 r in series so we will have forward loop as g2 g3 and feedback loop we have h1 of s so h1 of s so g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g2 g3 h1 so in so in the place of g of s we have g2 g3 and in place of h of s we have h1 so this is the reduced form of this block diagram uh, g2 g3 in the forward loop and h1 in the feedback loop will be reduced as g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g2 g3 h1 now we will include one more feedback loop h2 and we will check how the uh, transfer function is so for this inner loop we have got it as g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g2 g3 h1 now that is the transfer function in the forward loop and we have an h2 in the feedback so it will be it will look similar something like this so this is the loop feedback loop now but here we have a positive feedback so the transfer function would reduce to one minus g of s h of s so we have seen the last video now the reduced form would be g2 g3 by one plus g2 g3 h1 that is in the forward loop one minus minus because it is a positive feedback system one minus g2 g3 divided by one plus g2 g3 h1 into the feedback element h2 so that will be reduced as g2 g3 divided by one plus g2 g3 h1 minus g2 g3 h2 now we will consider the final feedback loop h3 so h3 is the feedback here and g2 g3 is a reduced forward loop until this part so this part is e equivalent to this g2 g3 by 1 plus g2 g3 h1 minus g2 g3 h2 now h3 is the feedback so it is a negative feedback system so we will use the first formula so this is a formula this is g of s the forward loop divided by 1 plus g of s h of s is feedback loop is h3 when we reduce that we will get this transfer function g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g2 g3 h1 minus g2 g3 h2 plus g2 g3 h3 and this entire block is in series with g1 so we will multiply this entire transfer function with g1 this is the final transfer function that gives us a relation between that gives us a relation between the output c of s and the input r of s so this is how this is the reduced block diagram of this uh, subsystem now this is another example here uh, we will begin with the rightmost part this is a negative feedback system so it can be reduced as by using the formula g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s because it is a negative feedback system so we have 1 plus g of s h of s we will substitute that and we get the transfer function as 
reduced a block as G3 divided by 1 plus G3 H3. Now we reduce this uh, as a negative feedback because we have a pickoff point here. So the first step we need to do here is we move this pickoff point to the right. So when we move the pickoff point to the right, we need to multiply, we need to multiply G2, 1 by G2 here. So that is how you move the pickup point. So the resultant block would look something like this. So right now the resultant block will look something like this. So we will reduce this part. So we will reduce the part within the green block. So that will reduce, since it is two parallel blocks, we will just add them. So this is a single transfer function equivalent to this two parallel path. So we will just add those parallel elements. So this is equivalent to one. This, this is one by G2. So one plus one by G2. Now we have reduced to this part as well. One plus one G2. Now this is a negative feedback loop. So that can be reduced by the formula G of S by one plus G of S H of S. Forward loop gain as G2 and the feedback loop gain as H2. Now this is a reduced form G2 by 1 plus G2 H2. I'm replacing that within this uh, feedback loop. Now we have two blocks in series. So that can be just multiplied. So it will be G1 G2 divided by 1 plus G2 H2 in the forward loop. And in the feedback, we have H1. So this is a negative feedback system. And we can reduce it as G1, G2 divided by 1 plus G2, H2, whole divided by, again, it is a negative feedback. So 1 plus G of S, H of S. Here, G of S is, G of S is 1 by G of G1, G2 divided by plus G2, H2. And the feedback element is H1, H1. So this is the reduced block of this green part. So this is a reduced block G1, G2 divided by 1 plus G2, H2 plus G1, G2, H1. So all these three blocks are in series and we can multiply them to get the final transfer function, reduced block. So after simplification, after multiplying these three blocks and simplifying, we get the reduced block between R of S and C of S as G1, G3 multiplied with 1 plus G2 divided by 1 plus G2, H2 plus G1, G2, H1 into 1 plus G3, H3. Now we will move on to another example. So in this block, we have S and S in series. So we multiply them when two blocks are in series we just multiply them and we will have a square here and that is in now this is similar to so this is just two blocks which are in parallel so we will just add it up so the equivalent block will be a square plus one by s that is equal to s cube plus one by s now this entire part within this blue block will be reduced as S cube plus one divided by S. Now that is in a unity feedback loop. Now this is that unity feedback loop, this loop, both are same. And the inner block reduced to block is S cube plus one by S. So by applying this is uh, G of S by one plus G of S H of S. Since it is a negative feedback, we have G of S by 1 plus G of S H of S as the uh, reduced block. And here H is 1. It is a unity feedback, H is 1. So our reduced will look like, so S cube plus 1 divided by S into S cube plus 1. So this is the reduced block of this part. Now that is in series with 1 by S. So we can just multiply that with one by S. And finally, we have a feedback loop with a negative feedback in the feedback element as S. 
So by applying this negative feedback law, G by one plus GH, here G is S cube plus one divided by S raised to four plus S square plus S, and H is S. After applying and reducing, we will get the entire uh, block reduced to S cube plus one divided by two S raised to four plus S square plus two S. So this is the block reduced to block diagram between the output and the input.